The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. Brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City. The name you've trusted for years. GEICO, the insurance savings you expect. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Bollinger Shipyards. 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen with the Sports Scout Report Podcast. We're here at Burley High School and we're continuing on. Uh, the one thing I want to grow at our show is no one's really doing it. I'm glad we are, but focusing not just on football and baseball, but all sports. And when I go to a school, I love to meet all the up and coming stars, whether they're going to go pro or whether they're just good at it. And today we want to talk about the sport of wrestling, uh, which people don't talk about enough. And I'm proud to say that one of the best coaches in the state is joining me right now, Jimmy Bible. Jimmy, thanks for being a part of the no show. No problem. Thanks for having me. Twelve state championships. Yeah, twelve state championships, uh, five runner-up finishes, a, a city title, countless individual titles. So I mean, it's it's we're very blessed here. Do you have rings on those? I do. I, I got them in a box. How I don't many wear fingers them. Fingers? Do you have? I got I got ten. I'm working on my toes <laughs> right now. So twenty six years. You said you've been at Burling. I've been here twenty six years. Wow. Six years, somewhere around there, yeah. What do you think the sport of wrestling needs to get the name out in Louisiana? Now, nationally, oh, you nationally, hear about it. yeah, you hear about but Louisiana, all the time. you don't hear much. The problem that we have here in the state is that we we don't have any uh, colleges that have wrestling. If we had a few colleges right. here in the state that had wrestling, it would probably be more. Uh, you'd have, probably have more teams involved, yeah. like when. LSU had a team, all those teams in Monroe had wrestling, like Neville yeah. and West Monroe yeah. and all those. They had wrestling teams back then. Dropped the sport in 80. As soon as LSU drops it, boom, it, it, it goes from there. I want to share with this with you. I'm having a kid moment when I was young. Uh, my dad took me to LSU practice in 1979. A guy named George Atia mm-hmm. from Pennsylvania was yep. like the best heavyweight in the country. I didn't know nothing. So my dad was like, my dad was into it. Mm-hmm. He's like, that guy's going out for football. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I wonder how that's going to work. Well, he ended up being a great D tackle for LSU. Mm-hmm. But and it's, it's, the Atia brothers, they're from Pennsylvania. Yep. And so you down. remember all that. Mm-hmm. They came down when well, I was nine years old. But Yeah, we were kind of You know, we were young. Right. But, uh, yeah, we, I used to, I was just getting into high school when, you know, LSU had a team. We started. I started taking notice about it, and uh, some guys came. Uh, matter of fact, Randy LeBeau, who was a legend here, uh, wrestling and track guy, he saw me as a freshman. And said, "Hey, why don't you come out for wrestling?" And I did, and that's how I kind of got, got involved. Him. wasn't a great wrestler, but it, I, I loved it. So uh, I, one of my dreams when I graduated from here was to come back and coach football and wrestling, and that's okay. and. I'm living my dream. I 26 guess. years later. 26 years later. 12 yeah. state championships, running out of uh, working right. on toes now. Working on ranks. toes, yeah. Coach, um, one of your wrestlers is a female that's going to join us. Pretty good. Yes, uh, Sarah, she is uh, Sarah Daly. She, she came to us as a freshman, and we started having girls wanting to come out and stuff, but they really wasn't kind of serious. Well, Sarah was a different... Breed, different breed, yeah. She came out and she got right in there with the boys, and she's sitting there and she's hammering with them and all this kind of stuff. And it got to the point where we were t- we were in a wrestling tournament here at school, and she lost. She had five matches. She lost all five of them, but three of them were real close. And she was off in the corner, and she was crying. Hmm. And at that time, when I saw her crying, because she couldn't compete. Even with the, 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 you know, the boys just got yeah. uh, stronger. Yeah. I kind of devoted what I was doing to trying to get these girls going, get them their own division. So that's where we are now. There's a proposal at the LHSA. Uh, they're going to vote on it in January, and hmm. hopefully we'll have a girls' division. Hmm. I hope so. Yep. In the state, uh, Coach, educate those that are not aware or follow wrestling or, or like the idea of learning more. North Louisiana. How strong are we in North Louisiana rest? I know Jesuit New Orleans. I know yeah. Brother Martin, yep. Catholic High Baton Rouge, mm-hmm. the Old Lee Liberty. Right, you know, all that. There's a lot of programs I always heard about, but how far in Louisiana do we go out with wrestling? Good programs right now. Well, right now the uh, wrestling is pretty much along the I-10 corridor, from okay. all the way from Sulphur to from the 
state line over by Texas all the way down to New Orleans. New Orleans, Lafayette area, Baton Rouge, and the, uh, you know, Sulphur region, that area over there, they a lot of wrestling. Okay. Um, Shreveport has about 12 teams, uh, perennial teams, that's been there ever since I can remember. Uh, but everywhere else, you'll, you'll get one or two teams in, in Monroe, you'll have a team pop up in, in well, we try to get some in Alexandria, okay. but they're kind of so, waffling a little bit. So the main main areas is Shreveport and anywhere along that I-10, uh, I-10 corridor. We're starting to pick up uh, teams in Lafourche Parish, Lafourche Parish and Terrebonne. Terrebonne has a team. Okay. Uh, well, really, Terrebonne, uh, Vermillion Catholic's going to have a team this year. Hmm. We got a guy, really good guy, who st set up a gym in Thibodeau. Hmm. And if we can ever get them cats from Lafourche Parish, that's some that's well, a tough breed of people, right? Yeah. 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 So I saw them play football last week at Lutcher. Oh. Mm. They're tough. I can imagine. They, no D1s, but boy, you don't want to play them. No. Especially South Terrebonne, too, and yeah. South Lafouche, Central Lafouche, mm -hmm. even Terrebonne, all the schools, Ellender. Mm -hmm. um, Vandy Catholic's good now, mm -hmm. and they'll be roaring with it. So, a lot of growth left for Louisiana to grow the sport. Yeah, I mean, it, you have your perennial uh, yeah. teams and stuff like that, and you have some that'll pop up and with a, with a coach or a parent who wants their kids yeah, to wrestle, yeah. and then somehow it'll get going, and you know. It, We've been pretty much pretty steady. We tried to do different things to kind of grow it, and uh, you know, I think I think the girl, the girls wanting to get involved. It's one of the fastest growing sports in the nation right now is girls wrestling. There's so many opportunities for girls to uh, to get scholarships in in wrestling that you wouldn't believe. I'm glad you didn't say pickleball. Right. Pickleball. <laughs> I can't get on my tennis court anymore. In my subdivision. Mm -hmm. they, oh, they, yeah. they turn it into a half court pickleball thing, man, and that's dangerous. Two feet away hitting balls, but anyway, yep. that's, um, that's the blew up, didn't it? That blew up. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. One person does, and everybody's doing mm -hmm. it. Coach, I really appreciate you being here and, and, and being able to meet you. I've heard about you over the years. Yeah. And uh, any final words you want to say for people watching that can support the sport? Yeah, just get involved. There's a lot of uh, clubs that are going on right now. Our Little kids club between you know uh, four um, four years old to eighteen, we got eighty five kids in that club, uh, which feeds our our high school team. Uh, you know, as far as you know, I'm a football coach too, and you get a lot of football coaches. Well, we don't want that around. Well, it's a complimentary sport. Yeah. If you get those big guys and some of those athletes yeah. in there, yeah. it teaches you leverage, agility, and all this other kind of stuff. Plus, it teaches them how to compete. When you're out there with eleven people, you can hide. When you cross that white line, it's you and that other guy. One -on -one. Ain't that? Yeah, it's one-on-one. -on -one. And you want your kids to compete. And, you know, Coach Schooler is, is real good with that. He kind of steers the kids my way. He likes coming in the wrestling room and, and seeing those guys compete. So we got a really good thing going here. And I wish some other schools would get involved with that kind of stuff. I do, too, because I'll tell you what. Uh, good linemen with good feet, mm -hmm. it's hard to beat those teams. And when you're one-on-one -on -one and you're pushing on somebody, that's what we try to teach them. And wrestling is not easy. Mm -mm, no, uh, it's not, not easy. easy. And it's a different kind of shape too. I've never had a wrestler. I had never had a guy come wrestle for me, and go play football the next year and have to come off the field because it's a different type of condition. Intensity. Yep. Yeah. It's like going through uh, boot camp in the military. <laughs> so <much. laughs> I've had kids say, "Coach, your practices are harder than the boot camp." I, thought, I don't know about all that, but you know, that's but like I said, you, you you there's no stopping until somebody wins, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. It's, they don't say you get to stop in 40 well, seconds. It's, it's six minutes. So it's, it's just six That's minutes. That's a long right? time. You, you go six minutes. This is, Let me bring this up. And I, I'm an older guy, but there's I got some buddies that like to put on the gloves. Mm -hmm. Just for fun. Not 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 hurting anybody, but right. exercise, right? Mm -hmm. hit, the, hit the mat and all that. Mm -hmm. Try to do that for a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. And imagine what six minutes is like with a guy trying to pin you on the mm -hmm. ground. And you're, and you're, I don't even want to know what it's like, but a minute and a half, I'm out with gloves on. Used to, they used to have you come off the mat and have to sign your name. And you, you know, when I wrestled, you come off the mat, try to sign your name. You can't, your, your hand won't work because you've been, you've been, you've been straining for six minutes. Right. But, uh, right. but anyway, it's, 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 it's a good sport. It's a good complimentary sport for a lot of other things. Coach, thank you for being a part of Appreciate the show. you. Appreciate it. Um, and we've got one more interview. 
And uh, it's one of his young, outstanding performers. Who's a female, one of the top uh, competitors in the state. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen with the Sports Scout Report podcast. So we had a chance to meet several coaches at Bruley, and we're not just focusing on football. And uh, you caught it, Sarah, earlier how I pronounced the name. Tell us all about the sport that you're in. So it is wrestling, not <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> Taken from a guy who knows not a lot about the sport, but I want to promote the sport. I, I admit something I don't know a lot of, but I want to promote the sport. And Sarah Daly is one of the top uh, girls um, wrestling. Is that, did I get it right on that? Wrestling, wrestling. yeah, there you go. Um, in the 132, 138 yeah, weight division? Yeah, around there. We got to get there first this year. But you were undefeated last year. Yeah, I went undefeated. I won girl state. Even though we're not sanctioned, we still held it. But what do you like about the sport so much? Since it's so new in, in Louisiana on the girls' side. Um, I like the competition and how it's how it's just upcoming. So even though there's not a lot, not a lot of competition in Louisiana. It's still growing, and I like to be a part of the growing factor of it. I like being able to be that base for it. We talked about it early, you know, Coach Bible, about schools that are good, like Iowa's getting some girls' teams um, around Nebraska area. They're getting some girls' teams. Liberty, Coach mentioned. Um, you have an interest in that area to, to be one of the better ones in the country and maybe for college when this is all over? So I went and I visited Missouri Valley not too long ago, probably about a month ago, and I really liked it. I met the coaches at one of my national tournaments I went to. I met them at Fargo, and I just I loved the energy they gave me about it. And so I went and I vis visited, and I really liked it there. I stayed there for a couple of days. Fargo, North Dakota? Yes. Wow. Fargo holds, like, the biggest freestyle tournament. In Fargo? Yeah. Is it cold at that time, or? It was. No. Mm, whenever we went, it wasn't too bad. So I didn't ask Coach Bible this. So I want to ask you this, Sarah. Competition here. You're undefeated among the other girls. You go up there. What's that like? It's a lot harder. It's Challenged? Yes. It's a lot where do you more fit in right now where your ability is? I mean, you're, where would you say, in the middle? Like So about in the middle for folk style nationals, which is what we wrestle in high school. But for freestyle, since it's just, it's a new take on things. Okay. Kind of more on the lower class of it. But we're working on it, building yeah, up yeah. to it. The focus is nationals this year. But you can tell when you meet somebody from those other areas. Oh, yeah. Those girls train freestyle all year. And, like, they train specifically for nationals. So whenever you go, somebody that trains folk style during high school season and then you only focus on freestyle for like a month or two. It's a lot different, you can tell. We need to get girls programs in Louisiana and boys again. I mean, I, I, like Coach said, when we were little in the 70s, before y'all were born, um, <laughs> we had some good teams. I remember, and I wasn't even a big fan or knew a lot about it. My dad would share with me. My dad was a boxing fan. And I don't know if you knew this, but LSU had a boxing team in the 40s. It was one of the best boxing teams in the in the country. LSU is actually getting a wrestling club right now. Are they? Yeah. I didn't know that. We have a couple guys on our high school team that are, that have been going there. My and I'll never forget. You know, you, you never know what a going to a campus and your parents showing you something that changes your life. But at one time, LSU had a like you could go see all the boxing pictures from the 40s and 30s and. My dad knew every name of every one of those guys. And I'm like, that was so great cool. for my dad to show me that because I, I didn't know anything about it. My dad was a coach, football coach. But now I'm, I'm interviewing you and Sarah 
Daly is, you know, your girls, one of the top players in Louisiana for your sport. Um, and I'm, I'm just glad we're able to promote this. I'm glad we had Coach Bywoman. But I want to ask you this before we're done. What do you think of your coach? He's pretty snazzy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty snazzy, huh? <laughs> 12 state championships. He's, uh, he's pretty snazzy. Um, football season takes him away for a little while, but whenever he comes back, you know. He's all in. You know, got to give him a <laughs> hug every day. The assistant coaches, I'm actually really close with the assistant coaches. They're the ones I take to um, national tournaments with me. But it's, it's amazing. You have one of the few coaches in the state teaching the sport. I mean, 26 years now. He's right? pretty great. Um, what do you need to get better at in the sport? There's always room for mental toughness. Always. And conditioning. Training? Yes. How much do you train for the sport so people can appreciate the sport a little more? We practice every day. Sometimes on, sometimes on Saturdays. Sometimes. But that's just to get us ready for the, the early morning tournaments leading up to season so our season is about two three weeks away it's not far at all we actually have hydration this weekend okay so i'm taking a couple of my teammates that ride with me we're going there gonna get hydrated get our descent started okay gotta get the meal plans going kind of like bodybuilding in a way you gotta eat right and get mm -hmm. your get your body trimmed down and for the and then weigh-ins right for your yes oh those weigh-ins at like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, bagels are always good after. <laughs> <laughs> bagels, bagels in a good cold water. Well, Sarah, good luck to you. I know you're a senior, and I hope you sign with one of the best programs in the country for your sport. I hope so, too. They're pretty snappy. Whether it's Fargo, North Dakota, or Iowa, or Michigan, or Missouri. Um, good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Sarah Daly, really high school. Uh, that, that was a great show. We had, I think, everybody who could get on came on today. If we couldn't get you on, we mentioned a lot of football players that couldn't come on today. But you met Brennan, you met uh, the tight end, Cody Loop, you met Coach Schooler, Coach Bible, um, you met um, Atkins, who played here. He's in the Hall of Fame uh, shortly. I don't want to say the date because I don't know when we're going to play the show. But appreciate everybody watching. Be sure to subscribe for free. It'll be on the screen when you see the show. Or go to YouTube. Go to LAFootballMagazine.com. You can find us on Podbean for the uh, podcast and then also video for our YouTube channel, The Sports Scouter Report. We'll see everybody soon. Thanks for watching The Sports Scouting Report with Libra King.